This is uh, my friend Sebastian Zietz. He's from the island of Kauai. We grew up together, <laughs> and this is where he stays. Yeah, this, this is the Oakley place. house where the magic happens. Um, I'm up there either in a bunk bed or usually on the couch because that's where I slept my whole life. So. <laughs> I slept on the floor last night. I could upgrade, but I'd rather keep it just couch vibes. <laughs> Bangs it off the top. I don't know, just been crazy. And win Hall Eva. Final at sunset, and I guess I just rode my high horse right into the Triple Crown win, so. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing right all of a sudden. Seabass winning the Triple Crown, and I mean, we've just been kind of all just really frothing and stoked on his performances, and it's just kind of a dream come true, I think, for everyone, you know? When he won the Triple Crown, I wasn't on the beach to celebrate. I was tearing up, you know, I was really happy to, to see it, that happen to him. That's a huge thing. In the 30 years, they've only had 13 other winners. Yeah, that's giant. Add his name to that list and the people that are on that list. And a lot of people think it's more of an achievement than the world title. Super proud because took him in and got him sponsored and gave him a place to live. And the whole nine yards all the way through and just proud to see him succeed. Right? I think everyone on Kauai is just so stoked for him and everyone just wants him to do good and it's just like so amazing to see like kind of like an underdog just like take everyone out and show everyone what he's really about. This is just such a good thing for him. I just have always felt like that kid had something special. And deep down, I kind of always believed that he was going to be like one of the next guys to really step it up. That's why he's doing so good. He's more psyched than anybody out there. Just froths on surfing all day. He doesn't care about anything else in the world except for surfing every day of his life. There are so many amazing surfers that come out of Kauai. It's pretty ridiculous. It's just such a small island, and to have all these surfers that are, you know, kind of making it into the mainstream is a pretty amazing thing. We had so many people that grew up at Pine Trees. It was just a super competitive thing from like eight years old all the way to being professional surfers. We had a gnarly group of people. It was just like, you know, Andy, Bruce, Pamela, Amayan Goodwin, the Kennelys, like Danny Fuller, Roy Powers. We had like a huge crew of people, Jesse Merle Jones, uh, Stefan Cohen. The, the list goes on, but we all grew up at the same beach, you know what I mean? And all at the same time, so it's super competitive. We have like 40 GoPros right now. It's crazy. It's so nice.